Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can apply CSS in your Lightning Web Component. So whenever we create a Lightning Web Component, so in that component, CSS file is not created by default. So if you want to apply CSS style sheet, so you need to create that file. So let's jump to Visual Studio Code and I will be demonstrating you. So I'm going to use this parent component, parent lightning web component. So in your Visual Studio Code, if you don't have this parent component, so you can just create. So just right click and create lightning web component, click on it and then name you can uh, mention as parent and if you are following all the videos so in previous example we already created it so you can just reuse that component to implement the example which i am going to demonstrate so here in this parent.html i will be writing the code so if uh, some code is already written you can just erase and uh, you can write whatever i am writing here so here i am going to use a simple tag or you can say element that is h1 uh, it is for heading so here i am writing to do list so this is the html file which will be rendering this h1 tag on the ui which will display to do list now i want to apply a css on this element so what i can do i just need to create a css file so you can see Whenever a component is created, so HTML, JS, and XML files are created automatically. CSS file is not created. So how to create that file? Just right click on the Lightning Web component and you can click on new file. And here you can write parent.css. So remember, name of CSS file should be same uh, as your Lightning Web component so that all the files will be having the same name, but extension will be .css. So here this file is open. Now you can simply write h1, then open the curly base. And uh, here you can write font hyphen size colon xx hyphen large. So basically how many times you use h1 element in your uh, html file so all those h1 tags will be having this css applied right so now i just save this parent.css i just save this parent.html and uh, if i show you the xml file so here you can see is exposed is already true and uh, target is lightning underscore underscore home page because I'm reusing the existing component. That is why it is already implemented. If you are creating uh, this parent component for the first time, so you just need to write or modify these codes, right? So now I'm going to deploy this from source to all. So I just deployed whole parent lightning web component so that we can see the result on the UI. Now from here, I you can see I am on sales application and the home page is already opened. I'm just clicking on this gear icon, clicking on edit page. So now I need to drag and drop that parent component on the UI. So on my UI, you can see it is already here, right? So name of the component is parent. So if in case on your home page, it is not available, so you can see it is available here. You can just click and drag and drop it, right? And uh, you can save it, go back. So here you can see to-do list is available and it is displaying in large form, right? Now I'm going to apply some more CSS here. So I'm going to change the color of this and I am I want red color heading. So I just modified and saved this code. And this time I'm just going to have one more H1 so that I can show you whatever CSS you write for particular elements. So it will be applied for whole uh, elements. Those are available in your HTML file. So I wrote one more heading. Now I just saved this file and I'm again deploying this whole Lightning Web component from source to org.
So it is successfully deployed. Now I am just refreshing the page. Okay, changes are not applied. So sometimes it happens like you deploy the changes and in a single refresh, it doesn't apply. So just do multiple refreshes. And here you can see both headings are available in red color, right? So this way, if you implement a CSS and you want to apply it on all the text, so you can just implement it like this. Now you might be thinking like, what if we want to apply different CSS for both headings? So what you can do, you can implement class. So you can write dot first, and here you can implement different CSS. So I'm just copy and pasting it here. Then I'm writing second. So uh, like these are CSS classes that I will be using uh, from the front end. So uh, instead of red, I'm using blue here, right? And uh, here I can write h1 class equals to first. And here I'm writing class equals to second. Right. So this way, if you create CSS classes, so here uh, you need to uh, start this selector with dot. Right. So you can see here example is also written like you, you can use element. Element is H1 and then class equals to first. If I come here, so element class equals to second. So now for first heading, I applied class first. So those styles will be applied to this heading. And uh, whatever style is available under second class, so that will be applied to this heading. So again, I save this code. So this time this H1 uh, will not be applied because we are applying this CSS, so it will be uh, given the priority. Or what you can do, you can just remove it because it is not the requirement now. Or what we can say, like if you have one more heading, so I'm just copy pasting it and I'm removing this class. If you don't use any class, so in that case, that CSS will be applied, which is available with H1. So here I'm going to use different colors. So I'm using green color here, right? So this will be displayed. I am in, so first is in red. Then it is in blue and it will display and green, right? So now again, I'm going to deploy source to org. And I'm going to refresh the page one more time. And you can see the changes. I'm in red, I'm in blue, I'm, I'm in green, right? So this way you can apply different CSS for uh, different elements. So right now elements are same H1. If you have different elements, so uh, the same method you can apply, right? So if you want to apply the CS, common CSS for that, that particular element, no matter how many times you use it. So you can just implement this uh, kind of CSS. But if you want to apply different CSS for uh, same element or different element, so you can just implement the classes uh, starting with dot. You can provide any name name doesn't matter whatever name you use here so you just need to use it uh, like this h1 class equals to and that uh, css style name right so this way i just demonstrated you like how we can apply css styles on uh, one lightning web component now if we go further so what what can happen like if you have parent child component so uh, in that case, uh, child component you can use in your parent component. So in that case, if you have implemented CSS for parent, so that CSS will apply on parent components element only. If you implement CSS for child, comp child component, so those CSS will apply to child components elements only. Right. So I'm going to demo you that as well. So here we have child component and uh, here I'm going to implement child.html. So here I'm writing, I am child component heading, right? 
and uh, I'm not implementing any CSS here and JavaScript is purely blank, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this child component in parent. So C hyphen child. So this way it is implemented, right? I don't need to pass anything to child. I don't need to write anything in between this, uh, these elements, right? So I just want to use whatever is available in the child component. Uh, just after everything that is available in the parent component is rendered. So first all three uh, headings of parent component will be rendered and then this child component will be rendered, right? And in child components, HTML, you can see we have one heading, so it will be rendered. Now we need to see whether on this H1 element, the CSS which we implemented in the parent component will apply or not. So I just saved uh, both the components. Now, first I'm going to deploy parent and then I need to deploy child as well. So I deployed both the components, but on the UI, I will be placing the parent component only, which is already placed. So I'm going to refresh it. Refreshing it one more time. So you can see, these three lines are available and they are having CSS applied, but the last statement is not having any CSS applied. It is like in normal form. So this validates like if you implement CSS for a particular component, so that will be applied to that components HTML only. If you implement a CSS for parent, so parent components HTML can use that CSS. If you implement CSS in the child component, then only child components elements or HTML file can use that. So now I'm going to do that. So I will be implementing a CSS file for child component. So I right clicked on child component, new file, child.css. So here I'm going to apply the CSS, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write colon host host and uh, inside curly braces I'm writing display colon block and uh, background yellow right so if you write colon host so it means it will be applied to the whole element so we created this for child.css right for child component and child component we are using here so that CSS will be applied on this component. It won't be applied on this H1 only, right? It will be applied on this whole component. So right now I just modified the child component. So I'm going to deploy that. So I'm deploying child component. And I'm refreshing the page. So here you can see uh, that CSS is applied on the complete component. So it is displayed block and whole component is having uh, background as yellow, right? If, if I implement more headings here, so those will be applied that CSS automatically. So I am another child heading. So I just saved it and I'm going to deploy. So it is being deployed from source to all. And uh, now I'm going to refresh the page. So here you can see both the headings are having a uh, background as yellow. So this whole component that I'm rendering uh, through parent component. So it is having a uh, background as yellow, right? So this way, if you apply CSS for host, so it will be applied for whole component wherever you use. So if you use that component into another component, so for that component, that CSS will be applied, right? Now, one more thing you can do, like if you don't want to implement this CSS in the child component and you want to uh, implement the CSS in the parent component, so that is also possible. So you can just cut it from here 
and uh, you need to move to parent CSS file and here I'm pasting it and instead of colon host, I can write it like this, right? So it means what will happen, this CSS will be applied on C hyphen child. So here in parent.html, we are using this, this element. So on this element, that CSS will be applied. So if you have that uh, components name handy and you want to define that components CSS in the parent one, so you can do that like this. But remember, it is applying for whole component, that child component. Right now, you might be thinking, what if we want to apply CSS for these specific headings for child component? So what we can do? So for that, in this child.css, you need to implement the CSS classes or like for H1, you can define the CSS. So now I'm going to demonstrate you that thing. So first of all, coming here and I'm removing it from here and I'm opening child.css and here first I'm implementing CSS for H1. So I'm writing color colon blue violet, right? And uh, copying this statement and pasting it here, right? So this I implemented in child.css, right? So uh, in child component, wherever I use the H1 element, so those H1 element will be using the CSS. So I just saved it. Now I am just deploying child component. And I am deploying parent as well. Sorry, it is by mistake. I clicked on delete. So you just need to click on deploy source to org. So both the components are being deployed from source to org. Now, if I come here and refresh the page, one more time because uh, it is taking time to apply the changes. So you can see it is in different color, right? Both the headings are in uh, same color, but for child different CSS is applied and for parent different CSS is applied. So this way, if you want to apply CSS for particular element, element means this H1, whether for parent component or child component. So that CSS you need to specify in that component itself. But if you use a component into another component and for that component, you want to apply a CSS. So you have two options. Either you can define the CSS for that whole component in its parent HTML, parent CSS, or you can uh, define that CSS as host in the child component, CSS file, right? Now, so I hope uh, this thing you understood so now we have one more thing that uh, we need to understand. So I'm just moving to parent component HTML file. So in parent component HTML, uh, you can see I'm just calling this child once, right? Now I'm just going to copy it and I'm pasting it three times. And inside this child component, I'm writing like, child one, child two, and child three. And here I'm writing class equals to active, right? So three H1 elements are available in parent.html and three times I called child component. Now you might be thinking how uh, this value will be received with child component. Right, so I'm going to show you that. Before that, let's see like parent component is having the CSS. Now I'm just moving to child component. Now in child components HTML file, here after this, these headings, 
so I'm just removing this one of the heading and here I'm using slot. So slot is another element. So what will happen? This child component I'm using in the parent one, right? Child I'm using in the parent and parent is passing this child one as a message. So what will happen? This child one message will go to that slot automatically. Right. So this heading will be rendered and the text which we are passing through that uh, component calling. So that will be coming here uh, within this slot automatically. So we are calling child three times. So three times, three different headings will be rendered and these values will go to slots. Right. So what will be the output? Like uh, it is showing I am child component heading and then it will display child one. Then again, I am child component heading and it will display child two and so on. Right. Now, parent component is implemented completely. Child components, HTML is implemented. Now we need to focus on child CSS. So here H1 heading is defined. Now for host, host, I am writing the code like display colon block and background I am keeping as light gray, right? So this host CSS will be applied for the whole component. So we are using this uh, component here thrice. So uh, that CSS will be applied for whole component three times. And after this, I'm using colon host and inside parenthesis, I'm writing dot active, right? So here I'm writing background color colon light green, right? So from one of the uh, this child call, we are passing this class as well. So if we, we are passing class as active, so this, this will be working, right? If class is active, so background color will be light green. So for child one and child two, background color will, will be different. And for child three, background color will be different. So I just saved all the files, which I modified. And now I'm first deploying child component. And then I'm going to deploy parent component. So everything is deployed. Now I'm just refreshing the page. So I'm refreshing it one more time. So you can see the outputs. So I am in red, I'm in blue, I'm, I'm, I'm in green. So this is because of your parent component heading elements. Then child is displayed three times. Once like I am child component heading and then child one, then I'm child component heading child two. So this child one and child two is displayed because of slot, right? So if, if you call any component and pass some value so that you can receive in the slots as well, right? And for active, we define different CSS in the child component. So it is having light green as a background, right? So this is another way to define CSS. So I just demonstrated you different, different ways to apply CSS. So in a nutshell, you can remember if you implement any element in a component. So for that element, CSS should be defined in that component itself. Right. If you use a component into another component, so you cannot use child component CSS in the parent component. Right. So child component CSS will be applied to child components element and parent components CSS will be applied to parent components element. So this is the important thing that you need to remember. And I hope you understood how we can create CSS files and how we can apply CSS in different ways. Thank you.